Hi guys, welcome to uh, a tutorial from me. It's been a while, and I thought we can do a um, tide flow tutorial. Uh, it's a particle system for 3ds Max. It's free right now. It's in beta. Uh, you can just Google tide flow and download it. So. Um, in this video, I figure we can do a uh, kind of a growth kind of thing where we have particles, you know, growing like this. So that could be like leaves or something. Uh, yeah, it's not the most fancy thing ever created, but, you know, it's something. And it's quick and easy, as you can see. This is all we need. Very simple. Uh, let's go over material. I mean, it's just the Viva material have leaves. Uh, diffuse and then in the opacity. That's not the point of the video though. So let's skip that. Uh, let's recreate this. We can just delete that. I have a dummy object. As you can see down here, we have our teapot, beautiful looking teapot. And uh, let's see, where is it? Tide flow. You can find it here. If you download it, install it, it's in the, what's it called? Geometry. Yeah. Click on that, go to properties, it's called, uh, modify, open editor. And then you'll be greeted with this beautiful layout if you're used to uh, p flow this is i mean it's the same thing goddamn fly uh so let's get started we have a birth we want to spawn birth i don't know ten thousand. is that 10 no that's 20 no <laughs> that's ten thousand uh i can't talk uh ten thousand particles we want to have a position object so we can pick our teapot where we want to have particles being spawned at on and there we go what else do we want we want to we want to have our objects our leaves do a shape we can remove that I'm gonna select these two guys and add selected and if you have materials inha inherit from refer reference do that on both so now they have the material that they have yeah uh, that's pretty much it I think I believe we need to have this size and scale on perhaps we'll I don't remember. Uh, next up, we need to. Um, right now, these are a you know, same group or same type of particles. We want to use the our dummy object here and do a object test. Gonna pick our dummy. We can use whatever, and we need it this to go to a new one let's give this another color and as you can see it gets some uh, particles let's lower the distance let's say five picks a few it's fine we need to give this a group So we can exclude, let's put this to P, you can pick whatever you want. Now, a property test. So we have a bunch of things we can test on, but we want to do the neighbor. Neighbors. Uh, let's do greater than zero, I believe. Let's skip the P group. Those are going to go into here. 
you want to test to those uh, and then again you know just send them off to this event where they have the p group so they are not going to be i mean if we didn't have this it would just be would do anything yeah it would just take everything just every you know everyone has a neighbor we want to start from here and kind of grow so yeah let's do p and if it's too fast you know we can lower the radius i don't know too it depends on how many particles you have can do that okay so we're fine with that uh, it doesn't really matter you pick your values now what do we want more okay so we want to have the our shapes we have them here we want to have them here as well well i guess they already are yeah uh it's kind of follow the flow but we want to have a random it's not called random it's called what is called see rotation oh huh. random rotation fine let me keep that we do want to scale this to a minimum i'm gonna set this to well we have set it to set it to one and we do another scale also gonna turn on uniform for this uniform multiply and there we go right so if I didn't have multiply let's see hmm maybe that doesn't matter whatever pick that uh, if you have a problem if some gets like a weird shape you probably want it could be this hmm okay whatever it's fine so just to demonstrate they get like super big right but we can do a filter turn that on add a filter and then we pick a scale magnitude and say if it's less than I get one continue on do what you do scale it and then when it hits it kind of stops again you know the value that's you know something that you have to play around with and that's basically it it's super simple right it wasn't hard even I could do it and if you want to render it you use the mesh uh, render instance probably so you can render it do we get yep it works yeah that's probably it not the best tutorial but it's been a while it's weird talking to myself again it's been a long time but yeah so that's it Hope you're having a fantastic day and uh, see you in the next video hopefully that's going to be a better one i need some practice on this bye bye